Next, we're going to go to Abby and Dom with news about sports. Hi, I'm Dom. And I'm Abby. And together, we're Sports Report. To kick off today's news, I have a story about everybody's rivals, Manchester United. As most of us know, three matches ago, no one had doubted Ma that Manchester were running away with the title. But two losses to Fulham and Liverpool leave them just one point above Liverpool and give the rest of the league a fighting chance. Yesterday, their top midfielder, Darren Fletcher, expressed Manchester United's frustration at this matter. He said, Liverpool would have wanted the league to continue and really uh, not wanting the international break. So you never know. It might be something that we just have to deal with. I'm sure we'll be back to winning ways. Well, we've got to be. Now, over to Formula One news. Lewis Hamilton is considering to walk, walking out on McLaren. The world champion, whose car is off the pace going into Sunday's Grand, Australian Grand Prix, said that he has had no other offers from other teams, but he would listen to, be, to an offer if someone asked. Now, on to some cricketing news. As some of you may know, a few weeks ago, two policemen were killed and six Sri Lankan cricket players were injured in a terrorist attack in India. Now, as a result of this, the Indian Cricket Board have decided to move the IPL, the most important cricketing event of the year, to a different country. Now, there were two countries that said they were up for this event, and they were South Africa and, well, England. England appeared to have the uh, biggest chance of hosting this event, but South Africa won because of the weather. Well, once again, we have been condemned by the weather. Well, this is England, after all. This is Abby and Dom reporting for Sports Report. Thank you for that interview. Now we're going over to Dom, who's doing, looking at some building work around the school. I'm Dom, and I'm here at the new building site where the uh, Chantry are currently uh, redoing the downstairs sort of study area. Uh, right next to me here, I've got the plans. Um, it looks uh, extremely good. It's costing £800,000. That's £800,000. That's a lot of money. Uh, and hopefully we're going to get... Uh, really good resources from it and the library is going to look absolutely brilliant when it's finished. So as part of this new development that the Chantry are uh, doing at the moment, we can, uh, if we have a look at the plans, I don't know whether you want to just pass them here. So you can clearly see that just uh, on the top of it, which is, oh god, that bit there, um, we are going to have a glass roof and that's going to look really nice and it's going to be really light inside the uh, library. Uh, you can also see that we're going to redo the exterior of the uh, things. So there's lot of the uh, of the uh, school, so there's going to be lots more lights looking in, so it'd be nice and white and absolutely look absolutely brilliant. We're going to have some trees in there. It's going to look it's going to look really modern, and it's going to be all worth the money, I think. So this is definitely one for the future, and we're thanking Speller Metcalf who are making all this possible. This is Dom, reporting for CTN. I'm here with uh, some of the Chanch High School pupils, and we're going to interview them about the um, building work that's going on around school. So, Sam, first of all, uh, what do you think is happening around school, and how do you think it's going to affect you? Well, it's actually stopping us getting to some of our lessons, so it's a bit of a nuisance, but I suppose in the end it's going to be okay. Yeah, so, and Mark, what do you think about the uh, building work that's going to be on tonight, uh, going on uh, around the school? It's okay, I don't mind, because you can still get to your lesson fine. Perfect. And how about George, then? Um, so what do you, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is happening around school that's going to benefit you? Well, there's a new library, so there's lots of new books to read and that, and it's a bigger place for more computers and everything, for more research for homework and everything, really. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a very interesting development, the Storm CTN. Thank you, Don, for that report. Next, we're going to go to Martha and Abby for a report on horses. Ben, stop horsing around. Thanks, guys. This is Abby and Martha reporting for CTN. So, Abby, do you like horses? Yes, I do, but they make me sneeze. Well, did you know that horses are one of the most poignant victims of the credit crunch? Thousands of pet horses whose owners can no longer afford to keep them. W what happens next? They have to suffer a brutal death. They usually end up on a French dinner table, if you know what I mean. Oh, no! Abby, calm down, calm down. Well, surely someone is helping these poor horses. Well, we talked to some people who care for horses and saw how much it costs them to keep a horse every month. I spoke to Chloe. She has two horses called Secret and Bliss. She told me that she spends around 40 to £60 on her horses each month. And to be fair, 
That isn't that much with the credit crunch going on. However, I spoke to Holly. She has a horse called Billy, but it costs her over £300 every month to keep her horse. That is really expensive in these tough times. But she has to rent a livery for him to stay in. OK, so we have spoken to all you horsey lovers out there, and you've given us your views. This is Martha and Abby reporting for CTN. Back to the studio. OK, thanks Abby. I'm really sorry about the horsing thing. Anyway, over to Adam now, who's talking about a recovered asteroid from Africa. Hello, I'm Adam and bringing you news that is literally out of this world. A terrible joke, I know, but appropriate for the subject. Astronomers caught an asteroid, tracking it for the duration of 20 hours before the asteroid crashed into the Earth's upper atmosphere in October 2008. An explosion with the force of 100 tonnes of TNT, 41 miles over the Nubian Desert in northeast Africa, rained down fragments of meteor onto the sand. The material the asteroid was composed of was thought to be created 4.5 billion years ago at the birth of the universe, whereas the asteroid itself was created a mere, well, I say mere, 2 million years ago. According to scientists, the knowledge gained from this experience will mitigate any potential future impacts on a much bigger scale from asteroids entering our atmosphere. Back to the studio. Thank you, Adam, for that story. We're here with Ryan Furness, who's recently got into England rugby. Vicky? So how does it feel to get into England rugby team? Um, yeah, it feels really good. It's a great chance to uh, represent your country and uh, play some good rugby. I heard you had to miss skiing to go to a rugby camp. Did, was that a big thing for you? Or? Um, well, at first it was uh, quite bad, but once I made the decision, I was quite happy to go and play rugby. I mean... It'd be worse if I hadn't got in, but since I got in, I was quite happy to miss it anyway. So, Ryan, what do you think the best thing about rugby is? Um, well, I think it's uh, it's much better than football because it's way more physical, um, and you actually get to tackle people to the floor. So that's why I think it's uh, it's much better. Um. So, do you know what position you'll be playing or not? Uh, yeah, I'll play in the uh, front row, uh, tight head prop, and hopefully I'll be starting in the first international, but everyone gets to start anyway, so I'll have to wait and see. Okay, then good luck, Ryan, and thanks for coming in. Okay, this is Ben, and that's Vicky, reporting for CTN. Thank you. Well, that was our special BBC Newsday podcast. If you want to send us any news or anything, just send them to this email address that should be going along the bottom here. Thank you. I'm Ben. And I'm Vicky. It's been a rough and tough day, but we managed to beat our deadline. It's been really fun and well worthwhile. So thanks for watching from all of us at the CCN team. Bye! Bye.